Oh, perfect. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Metabolic Conditioning. Uh, my name is Ryan. I know Kayla usually teaches on Friday mornings, but uh, you have me as she is out of the office today. Um, today for Metabolic Conditioning, we are on phase one, week two. We're doing an upper body push, a lower body pull workout. Uh, we're going to roll right into our pillar prep this morning. Good morning. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to split those legs and reach down the middle. And then standing up tall, reaching to both hands to the left. Standing up tall, reaching both hands to the right. Let's go middle, left, right two more times on your own. Go middle, hold it for a few seconds, stand up tall, go to your left. And go to your right. Make sure you're locking up those hips at the top when you're standing up tall. Finish it up here. And now you can bring those feet together, stand up tall. We're going to do some face pulls. So my arms are going to be out straight in front of me. I'm gonna pull my hands, my face, and my elbows are gonna be high. So I'm just pulling right here. Let's do about 10 repetitions. Pull those hands to your face, elbows high. After you finish those 10 repetitions, we're gonna bring your arms out in front of you like a goal post. And you're gonna bring them together and then bring them apart. Another 10 right there. After that, we're going to take a seat on the ground, hit those reverse four beans real quick, get that back, loosen up, arms sticking out, right leg up and over, drop that shoulder to the ground. Going the other way, hold it there for a few seconds, those kinks out of your back. Try to get those shoulders on the ground, get that foot across the body. I know your shoulders probably, won't, my left one's coming off the ground here, but I'm trying to push it down. And then let's go two more each way really quick. Just tapping that ground real quick. Get that low back loosened up. And when you're ready, you can pop on up. We're going to roll into our moving prep, just like normal. We have 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times through. I'll go through the exercises real quick. The first one we have is a reverse lunge to a leg cradle. So I'm going to take a big step back. And then when I'm going to stand up tall, the leg that's stepping back, I'm going to grab my knee, grab my shin, pull to my chest. So reverse lunge to the leg cradle. Make sure you take a big step on that reverse lunge so you're in good position to drive on up. After that, we're going to have scapular push-ups. So I'm going to go into a push-up position. I'm going to let my, my chest fall through between my shoulders, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and then I'm going to push to the ground. You notice my arms are straight the entire time. And I'm to keep my body in good alignment. I really squeeze my core here to stay strong and stay solid all the way through. If I just let my core relax while I'm doing this, it feels awkward for my back to squeeze my shoulders. So squeeze that core, arms are straight, let the chest fall through, and then push through the ground. After that, we're gonna go elevated glute bridges. So if you have something nearby that you can put your feet on, I have this chair right here. I'm gonna put my feet on the edge of the chair, kind of uh, make it a 90 degree angle between my shin and my, my quad, my femur. I'm gonna drive my hips up and through. Locking it out from my knees to my chest, bringing it back down. Strap my hips up and through, hold it for a second. Going back down, working there. And then finally, we're gonna pop on up, get a little movement going. Actually, we're not gonna pop up, sorry. <laughs> we have fast hands in a push-up position. Now, 
these fast hands are is my hands are gonna go forward and they're gonna go back. And then I'm gonna go as quick as I can going forward and back, getting those shoulders warmed up. We even done those one in a while, so it might be a little more difficult this morning. So, all right. So we have reverse lunge of the leg cradle, step to the push-ups, elevated glute bridges, and the fast hands forward and back. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You don't need to go super fast through this. So if you need to just take your time, slow it down so you're warmed up. Just know by the end of this, we're gonna be rocking and rolling into our, our strength and power stretch today. So I'll get the time rolling. We're gonna be starting off with a reverse lunges. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're gonna reverse lunge to a leg cradle, alternating sides. Pull on that knee, pull on that shin to your chest. Waking up, warming up, getting that Friday morning workout out of the way. Two, one, relax. We're gonna go onto the ground for scapular push-ups. Again, squeeze that core, bring those, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two, one, we're going. Say, so take your time with it if you need to. Keep those arms straight. Let the chest fall through the shoulders and then push through the ground. Two, one, relax. After that, let's find that position along that bench or that chair or that couch. It's a little bit easier to put your heels on the edge of it. Do some elevated glute bridges here in two, one, we're ahead. Now, those hips up and through, bring it on down. Locking it out at the top all the way for a second or two. Two, one, relax, stay on the ground. We have those fast hands forward and back. Here we go, let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going forward and back. You don't need to move super far with those hands. Just get them moving, squeezing that core, warming up those arms for the upper body push today. Three, two, one, relax. Popping it back up one more time through. Reverse launch to the leg cradle. Let's head it here in three, two, one. We're rolling big step back, leg cradle. Go a little quicker this time through. Getting that heart rate up going, but loosen up after that first round. Two, one, relax. After that, scan through the push ups. Squeeze that core. Let's hit it in two, one, we're going. Nice job. Let the chest fall through and then push through the ground. Well, keep those arms straight. Two, one, relax. Glute, elevated glute bridges. Put those feet on the edge of the bench or edge of the chair. Locking those hips out for a second. Here we go in three, two, one. We're rolling down those hips up and through. Bring it on down. Two, one, relax. Fast hands forward and back. Last one here. Here we go. Let's hit it here in three, 
two, one. We're going forward and back. Last one of the movement prep. Three, two, one. Relax. Stay up tall. Let's grab some water. Nice job rolling through that. If you're having difficulty with those fast hands, always just you can always slow them up. Just keep that core tight and take those smaller steps with those hands. We're gonna be doing a, a, a similar movement during the strength and power round. So again, you feel free to take that time as long as you're staying tight and staying solid. Not squeezing that core. All right. As you guys are resting recovering. Uh, strength and power today, we are in a circuit fashion. So there's eight exercises to get through. The first round will be 20 seconds on. Uh, and I'm gonna explain the next exercise in between. So that will be a rest and we'll roll right into it. And then after that, I'll be 25 seconds on, 15 seconds off for the final two rounds. Got a little combination of cardio and strength involved in this uh, section. So have some weights nearby you. They don't need to be super heavy. Especially this, this week, we're, we're promoting great technique and solid repetitions. So focus on that solid movement, pushing yourself, pushing that pace rather than the weights that you're using. So if that means you have to go to body weight, like if, uh, body weight exercises for get that good technique, go for it. All right, so start off this first round. We're just gonna get rolling on it. I'm gonna show you each exercise before we do it. And the first one we have is mountain climbers. So I'll be in that push-up position, driving my knees to my chest, alternating here. If you just wanna go one at a time, one and one, that's fine too. But working that entire 20 seconds here. So let's find that spot on the ground and we'll get to it here. Let's hit it in three, two, one. We're going mountain climbers. First one of the cardio exercise, getting that heart rate up. Two, one, relax. We're gonna need a lot of upper body right away at the beginning of the workout. We're getting those shoulders warmed up. The next one we have is push-ups. But how we're gonna do it today is you're gonna start off your knees. You're gonna control going down, and as soon as you get down the bottom, put your knees down and drive on up. So you're making that transition of controlled with your full weight, and then put the knees down and drive on up. If you're having difficulty, Control your body all the way down with your knees off the ground. You can just do the same, control with your knees on the ground and then drive on up. Focusing on that technique, driving through those elbows, punching through those hands. All righty, let's hit it here 20 seconds in three, two, one. We're going control on the way down, put the knees down, punch. Only 20 seconds here. You're getting four to five really good reps in. Two, one, relax. And the last one before we come off the ground is lateral, lateral fast hands. So we're gonna that push up position again. Hands go across one way, hands go across the other way. So pretend it's an imaginary line and moving your hands over the imaginary line. Feel free to take your time if you need to. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going side to side here, crossing over that imaginary line. We'll come off the ground after this, getting those shoulders a rest. Two, one, relax. We're gonna pop on up now. We're gonna grab those weights. We have dumbbell RDL or whatever weight you have in your house. I have a big chest, a slight bend in my knees. I'm going to push my hips back. So I'm not bending my knees. It's a slight bend, but I'm not bending them anymore. I'm pushing my hips back. I'm going to feel that stretch in my hamstrings right around mid shin. And then I'm going to stand up tall. Those shoulders back, 
towards the hip back to mid shin, stand up tall. All right, here we go. Let's feel those hamstrings in three, two, one. We're hitting it, reaching on back, reaching on through. And so good solid RDLs, strengthening those hamstrings, making that back stronger, but keep those dumbbells close. Two, one, relax. After that, we have base rotations. You guys have seen before. For Ben, there's those four corners. One, two, three, four. Put those feet in the opposite corners and rotating those hips. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in two, one. We're rolling. Base rotations here. Nice job, getting those feet in those four corners, working opposite of one another. Two, one, relax. We have three more. Grab a little lighter weight. We're gonna lay on our back. We have tricep extensions, or I call them skull crushers here. The dumbbell's gonna be above your head. You're gonna keep your elbows high the entire time as the dumbbell bends towards the ground. And then you're gonna punch through those elbows and punch in the ceiling. So work in there, elbows high, punch. Bending at the elbow, keeping them high the entire time. Have those weights by you. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're rolling. Just 20 seconds here, feeling right in those triceps. Push that dumbbell to the ceiling. Two, one, relax. We got two more. Laying on the ground still, we have hamstring walkouts. So what those are gonna be is my feet are gonna be, or my hips gonna be off the ground, pushing, actively pushing through my feet. I'm gonna take small steps walking out. I usually stay in my heels for this. And then I'm taking small steps walking in. The entire time I'm doing this, I'm actively trying to keep my hips up for those small steps out and those small steps in. Working there. Take your time with this. You're not going to get a lot of repetitions in here. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going. Small steps out. Small steps, and you don't need to go all the way. Just go as far as you're comfortable with, and then take those small steps back in. Two, one, relax. After that. Last one, jumping jacks. So we're coming up to our feet, getting it hurried up right at the end. Jumping jacks working here. If you want to go side to side, if you don't want to hop, that's fine too. All right, here we go. Last one. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're rolling. It's the easiest round as the, the sets are shorter, and I'll give you a lot of rest with me explaining in between. Two, one, relax. Shake it out, grab that sip of water. But we guys are feeling really good, confident with the movements now. Now we're gonna increase the time and probably reduce the rest because I'm not gonna be talking as much. See you guys about another 20 seconds and we're gonna start that second set. We're starting out with mountain climbers. Those shoulders are gonna be tired by the end of the day. All righty, let's get in that push-up position and let's hit it here, mountain climbers. In three, two, one, we're on. Knees and chest, we're working. 
Feel free if you need to step one at a time, that's fine too. But now we're going here for 25 seconds. Two, one, relax. We're going to those push-ups, control on the way down, drop into your knees, drive on the way up. Good solid repetitions. You need to stay on your knees the entire time. That's all right. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going. Punching through those elbows, driving through those hands. Put a hole in the ground. Push hard through the ground. Ten more seconds here. Get two more in. Three, two, one, relax. Lateral fast hands, so stay on down there. Shake out those arms. Side to side. Here we go. Three, two, one, we're going. You don't need to go super fast here if you're feeling unstable, but make sure that core is strong. Three, two, one, relax. And after that, we're popping on up. Dumbbell RDLs. Finding those weights. Slight bend of these, big chest, pushing those hips back. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going. Hips go back, hips come through. Standing up tall at the very end, locking those hips out. Three, two, one, relax. Put those weights down, base rotations, finding those four corners, hopping through them. Let's hit it here in three, two, one, we're rolling. Rotating those hips, go, go, go. Pushing that pace, getting that, keeping that heart rate up. Three, two, one, relax. You have to do uh, tricep extensions laying on the ground. Grabbing those weights. Make sure those elbows are high as you're punching through those elbows. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going elbows high, punch through the ground. 25 seconds here. Three, two, one, relax. And stay laying down, we have hamstring walkouts. Remember to keep those hips up. Here we go, three, two, one. We're going small steps out, small steps in. Going as far as you can, digging those heels in. I have to keep my toes up. Makes it a little bit easier to walk out on. Three, two, one, relax. Last one, jumping jacks, popping on up. 25 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, we're rolling. Now 
Nice job. Feel free to step out side to side if you need to. Transition to that at any time. Two, one, relax. Stand up, walk around, grab that sip of water. Don't sit down, don't just stand there. Keep walking, keep moving one more time through. And then we're gonna finish up a little extra short the big round of ESD at the end. We're gonna get rolling here in about 20 seconds, the final round. So coming back to center with those mountain climbers to begin with. Find that spot on the ground. Try those knees to your chest. Here we go. Mountain climbers, final round of straight power. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going. Knees to chest. Go, go, go. You need to step one at a time. Go for it. 25 seconds here. Two, one, relax. We have those push ups. Control all the way down, push the bar all the way up. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're hitting it. Folks, that technique worked hard. I know you're getting tired. Your arms are tired. This is where you get better when you're able to focus. Focus on pushing through those elbows. Punching through those hands, keeping that core tight. All those things when you're tired, when you get better. Here we go, two, one, relax. Lateral fast hands. Side to side here. Let's hit it here in three, two, one, we're going. Side to side with this one. Just cross over that line, squeezing the core, taking your time with it if you need to. Three, two, one, relax. No more deals. Grabbing those weights, big chest, push those hips back. Let's hit here in three, two, one, we're going. Hips go back, hips come through. With your big chest, like you said, back flat. You're not, if you're not looking up, or your chest isn't big, your back's gonna be round and you're out of position. Two, one, relax. And that base rotations. Find those four corners. Let's head it here in three, two, one. We're working. Rotating those hips, hitting those four corners. Go, go, go. Two, one, relax. Three more. Try some extensions laying on the ground. Here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're moving. Elbows high, punching to the ceiling. Nice job, keep on working. Three, 
three, two, one, relax. Stay laying there, you have the hamstring walkouts. We're gonna roll right into them, hips up. Let's hit it here. Two, one, we're rolling. Small steps out, small steps in. Keep those hips up the entire time. Focus here, keep them up. Finish this round on the right note. Three, two, one, relax. Last one here, Dolman Jacks. Here we go, three, two, one, we're hitting it. Last one of this round. Go, 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 finish on up. Short time. Three, two, one, relax. Stand up, walk around, grab that sip of water. We just finished strength power. We're not gonna take too long and we're gonna roll right into this ESD. This ESD is finisher. It's two rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off with those same exact cardio exercises. So we're gonna pull those out, we're gonna use the mountain climbers, we're gonna use the lateral fast hands, we're gonna use the base rotations, and we're gonna use the jumping jacks. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times through. And it's gonna be really quick. Finish the workout on the right now. We're gonna go in here in about 15 seconds. Start off with mountain climbers. So let's find a good push up position. Finish his workout strong. All right, here we go. ESD, last two rounds of the day. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going, knees to chest, go, go, go. 20 seconds a piece now. Grind those knees to your chest, going fast, going quick. Two. One, relax, shake it on out. We're going lateral fast hands. Here we go. Two, one, we're going side to side. If you need to go to your knees for this one, your shoulders are tired, that's fine too. Go quick, go quick, go quick. Three, two, one, relax. Pop on up, base rotations. Here we go, two, one, we're hitting it. Don't slow up, we're picking up the pace here. Nothing to hold back for, because this will be it for the day. Finish up with ESD, one more round after this round. Two, one, relax, get yeah, jumping jacks. Feel free to step off if you need to. Here we go. Two, one, we're going. And you step out side to side, that's fine too. Two, one, relax. Going back down to push your position, mountain climbers. Round one complete, second round, here we go. Three, two, one, we're hitting, knees to chest. Four more exercises, then we're done. Two, one, relax. Lateral fast hands. Woo, here we go. Three, two, one. We're going. Focus when you're tired. Finish this workout on the right note. 
Don't fall up, push your limits. Two, one, relax. Hop on up, base rotations, two more. Two, one, we're hitting it. Come on, use those arms, help those hips rotate. Hit those four corners with those feet. Short time here. Three, two, one, relax, jumping jacks. Last one of the day, last 20 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, we're hitting it. Finish this workout strong, at, at your best. Go, 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 Friday's here. The weekend's on the horizon. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Stand and walk around. Bring your water with you. Don't stand there, don't sit down. Walk and move, walk and move. All that heart rate come down, we're done for the day. Feeling good, get the workout knocked out. There. Looking forward to that weekend. Fresh coat of snow. Able to get outside and do some awesome activities. When you're ready, let's come to center real quick. And let's just reach down and touch our toes. Keep those feet together. Let's stand up tall, bring those arms across, pull it on that shoulder. Swing those arms out, switch it on up. Going over your head, going down on that elbow. With the sides, other elbow, pulling on down. And you're going to come relax. Well, awesome job getting your Friday workout on. Thank you guys for joining Metabolic Conditioning. That's the last workout of the week. Way to get it done. Um, we're halfway through this first phase of 2021. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, we're building a base, making sure you guys are feeling better, stronger, and uh, we're going to keep on progressing every single week in order to reach those goals you guys are looking for in 2021. Um, have Take care. Have a great weekend. Have a good weekend. Thank Thanks. you, guys. See ya. North. <laughs> have a good Bye. day.